and welcome back everyone it is launch day for far cry 5 and i'm sure those of you who are anxious to play it are probably either already preloaded it or looking to see how well this game performs on pc well what we're taking a look at today is specifically the gtx 1060 versus the rx 480 and yes before anybody mentions we do know the rx 580 is available but we do not have them and we were going to buy one but i think you've seen video graphics cards prices lately and you would agree that it would be kind of a hard choice to make. Either way, the reference RX 480 that we're using will be a good baseline performance for the Polaris series, and the Founders Edition version of the GTX 1060 would be a good foundation for GTX 1060 performance. Remember, aftermarket cards are faster, they are clocked higher, as well as different variants, what have you. So, good baseline performance here. We're testing it with the Ryzen 7 1700 clocked at 3.9 gigahertz with 16 gigabytes of Gale Evo X DDR4 3200 memory on the X370 Crosshair 6 Hero motherboard. Now, with that out of the way, we did test the game at both 1080p and 1440p using the high preset as well as the ultra preset. We did leave TAA enabled for both of these, or well, rather all four of these tests, as it was enabled by default. So we did leave the resolution scaling at 1, so 1 to 1 scaling, so no funny business there. And we did use the game's built-in benchmark, which after playing about an hour and a half of the game, found it to be quite accurate and representative of in-game performance. So actually there were times where in the game it was performing a little bit better than what we saw in the benchmark. Now, one last thing to mention is before we go forward into the results is the fact that the drivers we used were official launch drivers for both vendors on this card. We had the Radeon drivers early, as we mentioned in the Raven Ridge video, but we did not have the GeForce drivers early. We could have went ahead and posted this video yesterday using the old drivers, but seeing as how the game had not launched yet, and the drivers for the GeForce cards were going to be launching on the same day as the game release, we felt it would more prevalent to wait until we had those drivers. So these are the results with the current drivers specifically for Far Cry 5 enhancements. So that's Radeon 18.3.4 and GeForce 391.35. All right, with all of that out of the way, let's take a look at the results finally. So at 1080p at the high preset, we see the GTX 1060 slightly edging out the RX 480. And, well, I mean, it's within a couple to three FPS, so that's really not bad. Actually, it's three FPS all the way down the board. So that's not bad for either vendor. They're both getting well over 60 FPS, and even the 0.1% lows are still rather high, so you're going to get a good, smooth experience on either one. Bumping things up to Ultra at 1080p reveals very similar stories. The average FPS on the 1060 is a little bit up, whereas the 0.1% lows, it trails the RX 480 within margin of error. So both are going to deliver a solid 1080p performance, whether you're running at high or ultra settings, it's up to you. But either one are going to give you a good experience. Moving up to 1440p, we already anticipate things are going to be a little bit more difficult to pull off with either one of these cards, but they do have the VRAM capacity to handle it, so why not give it a shot? So starting things off with 1440p high settings, we see an average of 50 FPS on both cards, which is good. And the 0.1% and 1% lows do take a hit on the GTX 1060. Moving things into 1440p ultra settings, we see the, well, same story. It's almost identical, just slightly lower FPS. So it's actually really good to see this game running as well as it is, and at no point did we really see the CPU being the limiting factor. Core scaling seemed to be very well. If core scaling performance is something you'd like for us to test on this game, we'll be more than happy to do that. Just let us know in the comments section if you hit this point of the video. Either way, either card, if whether you're going with the Polaris or the Pascal mid-range cards, I think you're going to have a good time playing this game. One does edge out the other. It depends on whether you're 1440p or 1080p. A few settings can be turned off easily in this game. TAA can be disabled, and turning shadows down to normal actually boosts the frame rates quite a bit. So those are my recommendations on if you can live without those things. Well, this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Feel free to subscribe for more, and we will catch you in the next video.